hello my friend welcome to the channel and thank you for watching tottenham hospice 6 leicester city 2 you heard it yeah tottenham completely destroyed brendan rogers and his team and let me just make it clear here i think he's gonna get sucked in the morning you know the song sucked in the morning <laughs> you got to suck in the morning man i think it's over for brendan rogers it's over i don't see any way that he's gonna come back from this one i don't know when was the last time he won a, a game of football it's not entirely about him it's about the quality and it looks like players don't want to play for him anymore it's clear the body language oh my goodness anyways people let me just remind you what happened on this one hurricane eric dyer bentaku and son scored a hat trick that makes it six and for leicester city yuri tillman with a penalty that was taken twice and then james madison what a game of course Sonny is going to be the man of the match. How can you even ask that? Three goals and he came on in the second half. And everybody is going to be compared to Son at the moment. Because when you come off the bench, you have to score three goals. This is the new rule that we're going to have right now. If you've been on the bench frustrated, come on the pitch 15 minutes or 20 minutes and score three goals. Listen. This is not going to happen every day. It could happen one in a lifetime. It just happened today. But don't expect anybody that's been frustrated on the bench to come on and score three goals. But congratulations uh, to Sonny because he deserved it, you know. He was so angry, so determined. He didn't even celebrate that worry first goal. Oh my goodness me. This guy is in another level. <clears throat> Yeah, Sonny is back with a bang. Take a bow. Take a bow. And what kind of goals he scored? Like worries. Like he was like Antonio Conte. Listen, I'm going to show you what I can do. Left foot, right foot. One thing was missing, missing a header. Score a header to be like a perfect hat trick. But a hat trick is still a hat trick. This guy is in another level. And sending a message to Conte like, you can't bench me anymore. But probably that frustration is the reason why uh, he was in that level. So, Harry Kane, the guy can't, can't stop scoring. Always scores against uh, Leicester City. Somebody on social media said, tax, death, and Harry Kane scoring against Leicester City. I thought it was funny. I think it was uh, like uh, Ben Jacobs or something. He said something like that. Indeed, he very sloppy today. Lost, uh, lost a lot of balls all the time. Got dispossessed, bullied off the ball. I don't know, man. The body language for that team of Leicester City just telling me clearly that they don't want to play for the manager anymore. They want to get out there. They want him out or they want to get out the team. So who are you going to choose between the manager or sacking 25 players? It's not going to happen. Just expect in the next coming hours. And it's just like perfect timing, right? It's an international break. And most of the time, teams are going to wait on an international break before sacking somebody. So they have like two weeks in order for them to search for somebody else to take over, over uh, to take over that job. But listen, Brendan Rodgers really deserves a lot of respect, you know. The guy won them two trophies, which is not easy for a team like Leicester City. They beat Chelsea in the final of the FA Cup. And they won also the Community Shield, two trophies, depending on how you see it. If you don't win the Community Shield, you're not going to call it a trophy. If you win it, it's a trophy. For me, it's a trophy. So Brendan Rodgers is walking with his head up, not down. I think he just lost it in the dressing room. 
lost a few players also during the the transfer window and uh, yeah that goalkeeper doesn't even deserve to be in the reserve Danny Wall you know you know and when you lost somebody like Schmeichel you know you're not gonna get somebody to replace him that easily so I don't know man this is uh, the reality of this business and uh, Brendan Rogers could be sucked in the morning let's check on some statistics here right let's see wh- who did what actually Leicester City had the ball 56% of possession that means possessions means nothing the end of the day in football because Conte will let you have the ball they're gonna counter and hurt you that is Antonio Conte he doesn't care about having the ball Shot on target, actually, Tottenham Hotspurs 11, Leicester City 7. All shot combined, 19 for Leicester City and 16 for Tottenham Hotspurs. So if you look at statistics here, you will say Leicester City dominated from the beginning to the end. But what the point of dominating a game without winning it? Nothing. The end of the day, what count is the result at the end you win the game my friend you win the game that's it <laughs> so let me yeah quickly this game here that happened newcastle against against uh, bomov 1-1 at the end alexander isaac with a penalty and philip billing for bomov nothing really happened trippier again man of the match so, I don't think Bournemouth are going to stay in the division. They're going back to this championship. But they've been giving a fight. They're getting one point here, another point there. They are drawing a lot since Parker was sacked. But I don't think it's going to be enough for them to stay in the Premier League unless something really changes very quickly. Or they got like better... Uh, better players in January and uh, that was funny Eddie Howe had a suit and tie and then immediately after the the Queen ceremony he went to the dressing room and got a track suit because he wanted he wanted to feel more comfortable in order to coach so it is what it is my people leave your comment okay leave your comment let's uh, keep the conversation doing uh, going uh, stay tuned because we have some other uh, live streams tomorrow in the Premier League the women the women super 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 league also we might do some watch alongs uh, the telephone is always open for everybody to call thank you so much for watching leave your comment and I'll see you next time <laughs>